Hello, crafty artist here. I'm going to start doing a series um, of four paintings this time that are going to be acrylic pours. And there, it's a type of acrylic pour called a Dutch pour. And it is one of my favorites to try and explore. So I'm going to do that. And my series is gonna be the four seasons. Um, so I'm going to get, um, so for, I'm going to start, sorry, I'm trying to have all this equipment. I'm trying to figure all that stuff out. Um, you can't see it from there, honey. It's in the front. Oh, you're sweet. My, my daughter wants to be my cameraman. Okay. So I am going to do the four seasons and I'm starting with fall since right now, uh, today it's. In the middle of fall, so I decided to make this a little bit more. Okay, so I decided to make it fall color. So I am starting, and I'm going to make a base, and I can go into all details of acrylic pouring at a different time. But for now, I'm going to lay a base, and normally, generally, you do like black or white, but I'm doing a beige color because uh, I'm doing fall colors, and I don't want it to be white. Uh, so I, my base color is um, called warm gray, which actually looks more beigey, but it's a warm gray from Master's Touch. It's a liquid acrylic from Hobby Lobby, and I mixed some flow shawl and water, and to make it about, you know, pretty fluid, we want it to be pretty fluid. Actually, I think I might a little bit, add a little bit more water to that. And then I want to cover the entire canvas, and then I'm going to show you the colors that I use. What, honey? We're gonna talk about that later, okay? We don't need to talk about things like that right now, okay? Can I show them all the colors that you have? I will show them in a little bit. Okay. Maybe. Okay, so we're gonna cover this whole entire canvas with this, I don't know why it's called warm gray, but that's okay. We'll use it anyway, because it's a good color. I want to save some for the sides as well. Um, but I want to cover the sides, make sure everything is covered. Everything is covered. And I have a mat, a silicone mat underneath that's catching all the drips that once it dries, I can just peel it right off, which is awesome. I do have a spatula, but I'm not using it at the moment. So we're just doing it the hard way. Why? I don't know, because I'm silly. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Now that I have that done. Okay, so now I'm gonna go along my sides. Oops. No, honey. And yes, it wastes quite a bit of paint to do this. This is definitely not a hobby for for people that don't want to use tons of paint because it does use lots of paint. But mommy doesn't care. But well, <laughs> I do care to an extent, obviously, but but just a little. But I know that it also does take. But also, you have to also realize that. There are, it's mixed with Floetrol, so it's not all paint. It's also Floetrol, which is a pouring medium. There's lots of different pouring mediums out there. There's lots of ones. I've tried a few of them. I do really like Floetrol. Um, so that's what I'm using right now, but we'll see 
what else I try in the future. I'm gonna come around to this side. And she's gonna cover the sides. Cover the sides. What did you wanna say, Henny? I can't hear you, Henny. That's later, Henny. Okay, so now what I do is I want to torch the bubbles. You might not be able to see the bubbles from where you're viewing, but they are there. So I use a torch and just go over it really quickly. And she doesn't stay in one spot. Yeah, I don't want to stay in one spot. Because you don't want to burn the paint and burn the canvas. Yeah, you definitely don't want to burn the canvas. So I'm just or going the to paint to make it paint. look bad. Exactly. Okay. So we've done that. Now, Kaylee, if you want to come over here so we can look at the painting or the colors we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to do all these are from Hobby Lobby. Um, most of them are their fine touch or master's touch. Nope, I have them in order, baby. Got to come around here. So the first one I'm doing is a master's touch burnt or fine fine touch, which is um, burnt umber. So I'm gonna put that here. Then I have a master's touch gold. Okay, tell this one is master's touch. And this one's master's touch calm. Green. Yep, chrome oxide green is this color. And then we have Master's Touch. Master's Touch. Brown red. Brown red. Which is copper, basically. Um, you want to make sure I'm I pre-mix these, but um, you want to make sure you get them a good uh, shake when you haven't messed with them in a while. It's Master's Touch Yellow Ochre. Master Touch Yellow Ochre. Yeah, Master Touch Yellow Ochre. And then we have Deco Art. Deco Art. Metallic Garnet. Metallic Garnet. Okay, this is the only one that's not a Master Touch or Fine Touch. Um, this is one of the Deco Art Metallics, which is really pretty. So those are the colors oh, we're going to be using. It is really pretty. So we have three that are metallic y. So it'll bring out some really pretty shimmers. Okay. So. What I'm going to do is, hmm, no, honey, not this thing. Mm -hmm. You're doing lots of things to help me otherwise, okay? So I'm going to lift up the top. And take off the cap. Yeah, take off the cap. Okay, this is brown, burnt umber. Okay, now, where am I going to put it? Put it, like, drizzle it on the top. That will make it look cool by drizzling it on the top. Making well, I think... Fireworks on the top. Or taking the paper towel and making them cool circles. I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do this... And I'm going to do a sweeping motion. And since I'm using six colors, I don't want to use tons. I don't want to use tons. I don't want to touch the okay. camera thing either. So yeah, I don't want you to touch it either. I moved to this Okay, and then I'm going to put it back. away so I don't use the same color. Okay, and then there we have the gold. Golden is a pretty color. Yes, and it's going to look really pretty on here, especially once it's dry. You're gonna do like a rainbow pattern. Yeah, kind of. Ooh, that's gonna make it look very cool. Yeah. Oh, mom, you have to um use a paper towel to tap on um a sp some spots to make it look very cool. We'll see what the green does to this. We yeah. Have green and a. Garnet to add to this, just you know, because they're folly colors, just like an olive green. Yeah, they're green. very pretty folly Like an olive colors. greenish color. And it's really getting very close to our trunk or cheetah now. I'm so 
excited. Three yeah. days until our trunk or treat. Yep, our church does a trunk or treat. So yeah, we a did a trunk or treat last year too. Mm -hmm. We did Doing so I'm things. doing, I'm going to try to do more artwork instead of um, all crafts. I've done a lot of different things so far on this channel. Um, Mom's channel is kind of the best. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. Um, okay, last it but not least. Is. Oh, Mom, you got it. Um, make it in the middle a cool circle. No, well, you'll see what I'm doing. Okay, the, you always want the color that you want to see the most on the top, which is one of the reasons that I have the garnet on the top. Garnet is a very yeah. pretty color. And I, I'll go through mechanics of stuff um, on a different video, like I was saying. Okay, so now with this, we want to blow dry, or blow dry. We want to torch the colors to get any bubbles out. They'll stand once but two more. I know, baby. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to use a blow dryer. Um, I just have a Revlon Iconic ceramic that has the um, this attachment to it, and oh, this is gonna be interesting. I need to pull this forward a little bit, actually. Ready? Don't touch. Nope, that's fine. Um, darn it. My extension cord is not. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, because my thing isn't very long, so it's not. I thought I had it long enough, and then I was wrong. Okay. I did have a knot in it, so it'll give me a little bit extra. A little bit extra room. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. So that was really cool. Okay, so if you don't like everything that's going on, you can always use your. Well, Mom, you your... gotta add some orange too, cause orange is fall color. Yes, it is. But the, you know what? There's a little bit of orangey-ishness from the garnet and the yellow ochre that kind of mixes together and, a little bit. Um, like an oh my gosh, quiet, okay. Red. Okay, so this is really, really pretty. Um, and it's gonna look even prettier once it dries, and you can see the metallics of it. Um, okay, let me see. This is gonna reach. Okay. Can um, I do this part? I'm gonna use, I have this small, world's smallest um, dryer. Uh, leaf blower. Leaf blower, thank you. That has a little bit less power, but it's better than using my spit to do a couple of the little tweaks I wanna do. Can so I do see. this part? No, honey. It's very tiny. today and every single day
Okay, say it one more time in case they couldn't hear very well. Okay. Make sure you comment down below and subscribe and like. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. If you want to see more videos like this, because I'm hoping to do a lot more videos like this, and, um, and if you have any recommendations of different things you want to see me do, please... Um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, like my sweet daughter suggested, and uh, so we can. And comment down below to tell yes. mom which color you like. Yeah, and if you like this, and if you want to see more of this, I already have the colors picked for my winter, and then I'll be doing a spring and a summer. Some pretty blues and some pretty whites. Yes, sure. I'm excited about that. So that one will be in a future video. I am going to torch this again really quick because I do see some bubbles that I do not like. And then I'll bring you in for a close-up. And then you have to put some, um, dry some of it out to make it look cooler with the paper towel. Mm -hmm. You have to make some cool touches and texture. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, Take the camera out. Yep, I'm going to take Can I the take the out. camera out? Can I take the camera out? No, honey. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause this for a second and then I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, so this turned out really amazing and I'm super excited about it. Uh, so I'm going to show you closer up. Some of the really pretty little cells that came up. You've got to make some cool texture. Yep. Now one of the things that I have been learning, and you need to pay attention to, there's a pretty gold. Yeah, there's going to be some really beautiful. I really like how that turned out. So one of the most important things that you could be doing with this is, one, I need to touch up. No. One, you need to touch up the sides when you're done because you don't want to have problems but also you need to take care of the drips Kaylee what? I need you to grab go you. grab me a stick a big one or small one? little one I can't really... oh, there's the little ones, the little ones. Middle. yeah oh, thank you okay you so to make some cool textures no, not, not with this one. So you go along and you scrape the bottom because if you don't, then the paint will keep pulling. Sorry, it's not focusing. It will keep pulling it and then I'll lose this beautifulness. So we go around and we just do this and you do it again a few minutes later until it starts drying enough to where it's not gonna pull. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turn off the, the lights, the ring light that I have. So maybe you can see the, I wonder if you can see the metallic. I don't think that there's enough light here for you to see the metallic. But it's there, I promise. And I'll post a picture of it when it's dry. But that just ended out up gorgeous. So, please like and subscribe. Like we already said. Like we already said, said, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye. This is dry now, so I wanted to show you what it looked like with all of the beautiful shimmeriness out in the sun. Turned out really great. I did toy with it a teeny tiny bit after a camera so it's slightly different but looks really good and here's the winter one oh that's glory and shimmeriness can't wait to get a varnish coat on those